Today's video is going to be a little bit different than what I'm normally used to posting. Now my girl Erica and I decided that we wanted to take a trip. So we decided to rent an RV and head to the Grand Canyon. This video is going to be my first attempt at vlogging and show you the entire trip and the do's and don'ts of renting an RV. I'm also going to show you a total cost of the entire trip. So I hope you guys enjoy the video and here it is. So we went with Cruise America for the RV rental. We booked the RV about two weeks in advance. I highly suggest booking it even earlier. So we went with Cruise America's Compact RV Edition. Now the description says that it can sleep three, but you can get away with two kids and two adults. But for us two, it was the perfect size. So here's the main bed. It's a little smaller than a queen size. The mattress that came with it was a little thin, so if you plan to rent this RV, I'd suggest getting a supplemental cushion. Here's some overhead cabinet space. Here's the dining table that turns into a small bed. For our trip, we never turned this into a bed since it was only us two, but it's definitely big enough for two children or one cramped adult. Here's the cab. In the back is a microwave along with a decent sized refrigerator. The microwave will only run when the generator is turned on and the refrigerator runs on propane. It also comes with a two burner propane stove and a sink. And lastly is a toilet and shower combo. This model has a 20 gallon water tank so you definitely need to conserve water when taking a shower. The total cost to rent this unit for 7 days, including mileage, was $990.55. So after all the paperwork was said and done, we headed to the grocery store to buy some food for the week. After that was our first true stop to Joshua Tree National Park. Joshua Tree was beautiful. Unfortunately, it started to get dark, so we headed to our first boondock location. The cost for a seven day vehicle entrance was $30. This casino allows travelers to stay for three days max in their large parking lot for free. Just make sure to check in with security to get your permit. All right, good morning, everyone. So anyways, we're here at our first campground, which is we camped out at the Tortoise Casino. As you can see here. There's the casino. It's about too much to see. Now it's time to go look for some water. So right down the road was the Oasis Visitor Center. There they have a spigot where you can fill up your RV with potable water. But then here I realized that the RV didn't come with an actual water hose. So I ended up having to go down the road to buy one. Which brings me to my first tip. Bring your own water hose. After that. We realized that the refrigerator had not been cooling overnight. Most of the food that we bought had spoiled. So we ended up stopping at another grocery store to restock and pump gas. But then it was off to our next destination, Amboy Crater. 
Amboy Crater is a national natural landmark that is found in the eastern part of the Mojave Desert. It's an extinct cinder cone volcano that rises above a 70 square kilometer lava field. And we're going to attempt to hike to the top. Well guys, this is what the crater looks like on the inside, but goddamn. Hello! Unfortunately, we never made it to the top. It started to get way too hot and we were both exhausted. So we decided to continue to our next stop, which was Lake Havasu on the border of California and Arizona. On the way there, we stopped by Roy's Motel and Cafe. This roadside historical site is on the historic Route 66, which was a primary east-west highway crossing from Chicago to Los Angeles in the 1930s. Roy's was once a main stop for all travelers during that time, but is now a historical site and gift shop. So we continued on to a secluded part of Lake Havasu called Castle Rock. This was a great secluded spot with literally nobody here. But the water was extremely green and full of algae. We only stood here for a little while and then decided to head to our second boondock location. Also did a quick pit stop to top off on gas. And on the way to the boondock location was our first glimpse at Arizona's famous purple sunsets. This was campsite two. Yeah, it's out in the boonies. We also ended up finding some animal bones right outside our camper, which freaked us out a little. But we didn't let that stop us from going to our next destination. The Grand Canyon. If you've ever been in the Grand Canyon, then you know that pictures and video do not do it justice. If you ever get the chance to go, I would. We spent the remainder of the day at Mather Point, which is part of the south rim of the Grand Canyon. We did feel like staying longer, but decided that we would come back tomorrow and visit Yavapai Point. So we headed out of the park and to our next boondock location. The cost for a 7 day vehicle pass to enter the Grand Canyon was $35.
And so for the sake of the video, I think I'm going to end it right here. I'm going to go ahead and do a part two because I have a ton of footage to go through. So stay tuned for next week while I'll be dropping the second part of the trip. And also in the near future, I'm going to be dropping more gardening videos, which I have some new things I want to feature in these two boxes. So I hope you enjoyed the video so far, and I'll see you guys next week.